morning welcome back to stone valley i'm just giving the truck a quick wash down because it was filthy and something i didn't quite realize is that the dirt was hiding that this truck needs a uh, another paint job sometime soon but that's something we'll have to worry about another day because um, right now we need to get over to uh the contracted field we have with zoe um and get that started because it's a large field and uh we haven't started it yet and we need to get it done before the end of august so first thing we'll do is we're gonna head over there get that started and then we will head over to the fields that we have contracted with uh stone valley ranch and get those started because two of them are ready to be harvested so we want to get those started as well um, now on the fields uh that we are doing for zoe i went ahead and borrowed her equipment just because uh well otherwise it wouldn't get done <laughs> Yeah, so um, she actually has a really nice uh, harvester set up and a uh, tractor and trailer. So looking forward to trying these out. I have not tried either one of these brands of the tractor or the harvester. So I am looking forward to it. Um, I am planning on setting both of these up with a uh, on a course plane auto drive set up. That's to make sure. I am not parked in the middle of a route. I'm not, so we're good. All right, so we're gonna get these set up real quick and get going on this field. That is actually a nice harvester. I'm a little, a little jealous, just a tad. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll have one like this. You know, it, it could happen. I will probably be able to get something like this down the road. Um, but yeah, so we need to get started on this. So enough wishful thinking or drooling. Um, it is a nice harvester though. <laughs> but yeah, let's get the uh, header hooked up and get that folded up. I love these headers that have the built-in you know, uh, wheels and towing hook. They're so nice and easy. All right, uh, what's the waypoint here? I just created it, but I already forgot what I called it. F10 Dirt Road. All right, so what I need to do is, I did just create it. I need to move it down to the correct field folder so everything stays organized. There we go. Then we're going to select it. And I think I can leave it on that one. I'm just going to put on this one just in case I can't. Just like I uh, still learning this whole process, but so yeah, we need to set up the course play. So I need to select the field. Oh, well, I don't need to do target position, but I'm going to go ahead and do it because I already had it selected. So let's generate our course. And oops, I think two headlands should be enough. Um, we're going to do a 15% overlap on the headlands. I think that's all good there. So let's we'll wait for that to generate. Takes a moment. <laughs> it's a big field and it's oddly shaped. Okay, so we need to save this, but I need to delete one I had on here before because I'm not sure if it's for this harvester or something else. I'm pretty sure it's for a different harvester. I did have a contract on this a long time ago. So, yeah. Okay, so... We'll save our course. 
um, which is really important because um, when I did talk with Zoe, um, she did say to go ahead and bail the straw. And she thinks she has a buyer for it. If she does, she said that um, she'll split it, the cost, the selling of the straw 50 50 with me. So, uh, yeah, that, that's a nice little bonus. Um, hopefully, she has a good buyer. Because <laughs> I, uh, I don't have one lined up right now. I kind of got out of the whole market of selling straw because I'm using it for processing and making goods to sell. So, um, yeah. Anyways, so what we're going to do here, let's get this going. And make sure I put it on first waypoint. And go. It should be going. Yep. There we go. All right, so I think all I need to do with this is go here over here to auto drive. I like this tractor, it's pretty nice. I wonder how much it is. Hmm. Um, anyways, he <laughs> switched this over to combine, and so F10 is the dirt road. Let me uh, check where we're delivering this to. On the contract. So we are going to the grocery store. Okay, so we're gonna set this to sell point grocery store. And I think we just turn it on. Yeah, so we just turn that on and then just kind of eventually get back to that point, which we were right next to, but I think I was facing the wrong direction. So it has to kind of loop around to find a way onto the route that point is on. And so it will uh, eventually end up right back where we were just at. And I probably should have got out of the tractor a long time ago because now I have a long walk. Ugh. Um, what, what that's going to do, though, is uh, the worker in the tractor, he'll sit basically right here. And whenever the harvester gets full, um, the worker will head over there and empty the harvester and keep doing that until the trailer is full. And then once the trailer is full, um, then the worker will take that load down to the store, sell it, and then keep repeating that until the field is all done. So pretty awesome. It's another one of those things where I can just hire a couple of workers and kind of forget about it. Just let it do its thing. And we're still making good money on it. You know, it's, we're paying the workers. So we're losing a little bit there, but totally worth it. But. All right, so we have it's like sorghum and wheat are ready to harvest. So two fields, um, but not too large, which is good. Yeah, Stone Valley Ranch, um, for the most part, they uh, they've been kind of getting out of farming. They used to own a lot of this farmland back in the day. Um, they have pretty much gone out of a lot of it and are focusing now on all ranching. So doing cows, they have both the dairy cows and beef stock cows. And I don't know how many, I know that they have a couple hundred head and it's becoming a pretty big operation. So that's kind of why, you know, they're uh, picking up all the silage and everything else that they can get. Because it takes a lot to feed cows. I mean, there's a lot of money in cows, especially like beef stock, but it takes a lot. So let's grab our really dirty harvester and header. Let me get this hooked up here. Okay. 
There we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use auto drive to get this out to the fields there. And I need to figure out which one. I think I'm gonna use this. No, I'm gonna use this one up here. Yeah. So F4 Sorghum. Let's see. Where, where is? Oh, where is it? I see it. Oh, it's down here. That's weird. Oh, I'll have to fix that later. So it's because the other ones have zero one, zero two, zero four. And what is it doing? Oh boy, no. Ah, you know I was trying to get away from. Oh boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're just like making it worse. Okay, let's see if we can get over here to a. Let's try this waypoint. We're on the road. We, oh, maybe this will work. Okay. Yeah, that just work. It's, it's. I don't know what's. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> so we're gonna head back to the truck and pick that up and head over there. But actually, um, before we do that. We're actually going to head over to the store and pick up something that I may have bought last night. I was happened to get home late and hop on the little interweb and saw this really awesome deal. And then I also might have leased something to go with it. So uh, I will see when we get over there. I don't want to spoil it. I mean, I, I will say that there's about 40,000 between the purchase price of this and the leasing item. And we'll kind of pull in here and you'll see it once we pull in. Well, I'm gonna be a little tease. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Had a little glimpse. All right, let me, uh, send this over to there we'll just use the grass yeah because that's by there but it'll, it'll be out of the way all right on your way <laughs> so i bought a used semi and i leased a new trailer to go with it um you know it's 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 used but it's new to us um so it's, it was a really good deal. I think it was, it's like right around 32, 34,000 around there. And we'll go ahead and repair it and paint it. Um, which that's like 20,000. So all of a sudden done, we're, you know, like 55,000 into this thing now, but that's still really good because these uh, are expensive. I, mean, I think this semi, if I was to buy it new, it would probably be somewhere in the 90,000 range, 80,000 probably. So maybe more. Um, the trailer does have a pretty, it's, it's a big trailer really high capacity so that's gonna be really awesome for us so we won't have to do as many trips back and forth um and one of the things with this truck is um it has a uh it's a it's a heavy duty it's made for hauling this type of load i think it has like five or six hundred horsepower 
So it shouldn't have any issues hauling this type of load. And the other major thing of this is, you know, once you have the semi, then you can really start uh, expanding on that because there's, we can get a bigger flatbed, bigger hay trailer and everything to go with it. And here we are. So we'll just pull up here. And I'm going to have to pull the harvester forward a little bit because it's in the way. Because that's kind of where I want to be with the uh, semi. I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up over here next to the fence, which will be out of the way of everything. Uh, Cause one thing with the uh, whole course play auto drive thing, which with auto drive is you don't want to park equipment in the path of auto drive because that will make workers. If they take that path, they'll just stop and wait for you to move. So it, it can bring like a whole operation down because <laughs> they're not smart enough to go around it. But, you know, hey, baby steps, baby steps. All right, so you turn the harvester. We're going to use swath on the head lens and then we'll do rows. Actually, yeah, no. We'll spread it out here and then I'll switch it over to doing uh, on the rows or up and down we'll drop a, a straw swath on that and you just pull around here and actually back up a little bit here so i have the waypoint set in auto drive i'm gonna yeah, I'm going to hop in the semi real quick and set it to that waypoint so that it will, whenever I need to be unloaded, it will come and unload the I, uh, for me. I believe this should work. <laughs> Let's see. Build for sorghum. And I want to take this over to silo there we go all right so we will uh, time lapse this and um, I'll catch up with you once we're making some progress on this. going to start raining. Well, that's not good. All right, let me just finish up this action here. Yeah. So we'll have to go ahead and shut down for this just because, yeah, we don't want to be harvesting while it's raining. Greatly reduces the yield like a lot. So um, we'll just park right here and we're run over to the truck and I guess what we could do is uh, 
go work on collecting the straw bells out in that other field over there by our farm. Because we still haven't done those yet. So let's hook up the uh, bell trailer here. There we go. And we'll try and get at least the ones, because I, I believe the rain's not going to last very long. So you can already see some blue sky up there. So we'll just try and get this part of the field done. That back section we'll probably have to do later yeah get this trailer going all right there we go um so yeah it's like actually the rain is uh pretty much stopped <laughs> that was a really short rainstorm only lasted like about an hour or so um it's not bad you know uh, but yeah we'll go and finish this up and then I will give back over to the field because there's not a whole lot of bells left here and I might as well grab them while we're here. I think that's the last one. So, um, while we're over here, I'm going to hit the brakes, uh, back up a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to actually send the Massey over there as well. Um, that way we can have it start doing some bailing on the, the contracted feel we have with Zoe and over there um, once the harvester is far enough along. So let me I think the windmill is a good spot. It should stay out of the way there. All right. So uh, let me go drop this straw off into our new barn. Barn slash hay a slash straw loft <laughs> and then we'll get back over to the field and try and get that done i want to try and get that field done that we worked on the little small wheat field there uh before we wrap up this episode so i'm gonna try and finish that as uh quickly as possible um, oh there we go all right i'm just gonna drop the trailer here because we'll be back for it. And I haven't seen the sheriff around, so I'm gonna uh, just speed. Now granted, speeding in this truck is not like horrible because yeah, I'm flooring it right now. It's, it's older. This is about it. That's about all she's got. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna park right over here. Make sure I'm out of the way. Then we're gonna run over to the harvester. And the sun is already going down. Oh my goodness. I do like the uh, sunsets here though. They are uh, pretty spectacular. There's something about it. You don't get sunsets like this in the big cities. It's a country thing. All 
All right, so I think we should be able to get back up here to the top too before we get filled up. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I think we'll make it. Yep, we're going to make it. Just barely. But we made it. Okay. Just want to make sure. Oh, boy. For some reason, the other harvester isn't moving. And it looks like the harvester and the tractor might be on a collision course with each other over there, so... Uh, what I'm going to do is just top this up all the way. And right there, we're good. Okay. So the semi should come over and empty that. Um, we're gonna hop into the truck, which I didn't, oh, it's over here. <laughs> Forgot where I parked it. Oh, why isn't the semi unloading? Oh, that's weird. Um, well, we'll come back and figure that out. I need to get the over here and figure out this mess because this is a large field and we're starting to run out of time where we may not get it done if we don't like really push it I suspect that like, they're just kind of waiting for each other to get out of the way or they're just trying to ram <laughs> with the header. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see. To do this, let me turn off auto drive, start it up, move it out of the way. Thankfully, it should be like a one time thing because once it's by, I think it's just this corner here. I maybe should have done three headlands, but. So that's good. That's taken care of now. There shouldn't be any more issues with that. So let's head back over here. And not run into the tractor. <laughs> Speaking of which. I'm going to go ahead and load the course now and I'm going to have it start from the very beginning. So it will do two whole laps around. I thought I loaded it right again. Let's verify that it's loaded. It is. Okay. So I'm going to have it start from the very beginning, which will have it do two headlands around before it starts doing the straw rows, which will give the harvester enough time to uh, get a head start. So I'm not sure how much faster my tractor is versus the harvester, but I know it's faster. So I want to give the harvester a pretty good start. All right, so let's figure out why the semi is not unloading, why that worker is not unloading my harvester. Because it's when you put the pipe out, it's supposed to come unload it. Unless I have to be in there. Is that it? 
That could be it. I have to actually be. Oh, that is it. I have to actually be physically in the harvester. Otherwise, I won't do it. Well, that's kind of realistic, I guess. Because <laughs> there does have to be someone in the harvester in order for it to unload. So, okay. Hey, you know what? All right, you got that one. <laughs> Point for realism. All right, as soon as we're loading here, actually, I'm going to check the map real quick and just make sure there's no issues over there. So the tractor's there, harvester's there, Baylor's moving along. Is the Baylor going to run into the harvester? Nope. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so uh, what we're gonna do here is we'll go ahead and uh, time lapse the rest of this here and then I will catch up with you when we're finishing up. Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk when I'm all right, cause I've been hanging with you. And it feels like love, tell me if I'm wrong. Come on, come on. Uh. I want you here with me. Am I out of my mind? Or is this how it should be? You made me sing about love. So just tell me if I'm wrong. But it feels like love. Yeah, it feels like love. Yeah. I overshot it a little bit there. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and unload here. And then while that's happening, just wanna check and see, make sure everyone's still on the track. So that's the bailer. Okay, that's the tractor that's doing the unloading. So make sure my guy's unloading me. <laughs> So the Bella's still doing the loops around. All right. So it looks like everything is going well over there, which is good. And where's this guy going? He's taking his time. 
Come on. You can do it. <laughs> there we go. Still looking good. I just want to keep an eye on it just because if something goes wrong over there and you know everyone stops working. Um very bad. Just making sure that I because the harvester and the baler were kind of uh on a collision course there. <laughs> but the baler is moving much faster, so it's all good. Alright. Cool, so we'll get back to our field then. It looks like everything is running really well over there, which is great to see. Okay, that is the last of the wheat. So I'm gonna throw my pipe out here and that should trigger the uh, worker to come over and empty, empty my uh, load for me. So I think this is a good stopping spot. So I think we will go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Uh, I am glad you were able to join us. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button and also uh, leave a comment. Let me know if any uh, thoughts or ideas or feedback you have. It's greatly appreciated and it helps out the channel. Um, also, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to stay notified of future episodes. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye.